It's an issue that has impacted the GTA for years, the lack of homes contributing to the housing crisis. And to help ease that, the Ford government has announced a new proposal to build 50,000 new homes on protected greenbelt space after promising not to touch that land. It's land that has been protected from urban development by legislation since 2005. But now the Ford government has backtracked, with the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing, Steve Clark, issuing a statement saying, the government will be launching a consultation on proposed changes to the green belt. These proposals will support our municipal partners' plans for responsible growth and help build at least 50,000 new homes. This is a bad plan and it's a worse precedent. Maddie Simiantiki is a Canada Research Chair in Infrastructure Planning and Finance at the University of Toronto. He says the implications this plan could have would be detrimental to the environment. It protects waterways, it protects uh, woodlands and, and agricultural land, which is important uh, for food production and food security. So there's all sorts of aspects of uh, the green belt that are critical uh, to the functioning of this region. And uh, to start chipping away at it uh, is with, with residential development is going to be damaging in the short term for that area and just unnecessary. The province plans to launch a 30-day consultation on removing about 7,400 acres in 15 different areas from the green belt. Simiantiki says it's an unnecessary move, adding there is no lack of space in Ontario to be building. We did a study uh, recently at the Infrastructure Institute looking at just uh, six major landholders who have residential, uh, who have uh, retail spaces like big grocery stores and uh, big box stores. You could build 60,000 housing units just on their their properties alone, on their housing, por on their portfolios. So there is, you know, and that's just those six. People think of advocates for housing supply and environmentalists as somehow opposed, that environmentalists just oppose things. Mm -hmm. I want to be very clear that, you know, housing advocates have made it clear this is actually going to mean fewer homes in the neighborhoods where homes are needed. While taking space from the existing Greenbelt, the government is also proposing to add an additional 9,400 acres to different areas, making the overall footprint of the Greenbelt 2,000 acres larger. But environmental advocates say it's not that simple. You can't just take away from the Greenbelt and replace it with other land. But once we open the door to request to remove any non-trivial part of land from the Greenbelt and from Greenbelt protection, we've really destroyed the whole Greenbelt system. The prices of land are no longer uh, agricultural prices, they become development prices. So a farmer can't afford the land anymore. If the plan goes through, landowners will be expected to come up with developing plans right away, with construction beginning no later than 2025. Melissa Nakavali, City News.